Well, let's uh, talk more about the story with an expert on post-war Iraq, Dirk Idriansens. He's joining me now from Belgium. So, is this Hello. anniversary time for celebrations or commiserations? Well, we should commemorate at least um, the 10 years of invasion and occupation and the destruction of a country uh, only because we should really keep in mind that someone has to be responsible and it have to be the invaders the US and the UK and allied countries you know uh, I, I just heard that people are talking about 100,000 or 200,000 deaths this is absolutely not true it is at least 1 million uh, 500,000 deaths and as to the Iraqis they themselves say that it is, is a number of 2.3 million not only that um, one out of five Iraqis has fled the country internally um, has fled either internally uh, in uh, you know IDPs or uh, to neighboring countries uh, at one point in in 2007 I think you know that there were uh, 1.2 million refugees in Syria 750,000 in Jordan and um, 2.76 million uh, inside the country. So what? But, what is this? But uh, well, yeah. why? Why does this instability and the deaths continue? There's a government now. Many are saying some of the Iraqis' lives has actually improved. So what is then going wrong? Why are you quoting all these deaths and they're still continuing? And the violence that we're just reporting on the latest bombings, just briefly. Yes, but who who says that uh, things are improving in Iraq? You know, the Iraqi government says so, and the American government, and the Iranian government. You have to know. Imagine that uh, after the Second World War, uh, that uh, Maréchal Pétain would have stayed on as leader of France. It is unimaginable, and it happens in Iraq. You know, Maliki stayed on, and the the government. Um, agreement was brokered in Tehran uh, in, in uh, cooperation with the Americans. So this is an, 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 an Iranian-American uh, occupation still. So th there are millions now people protesting in the streets against rapes that are going on, against uh, unlawful arrests, um, you know, against poor services. Okay. Imagine in 91, in 91, they were, um, they, they were ready and, and they had uh, electricity and telephone repaired uh, in, in okay, Dirk, well, something well, over well, six months. And now, right. after 10 years of occupation, they have well, two to four uh, hours of electricity okay. a day. We'll leave it there so, for the moment. Thank you very much. Dirk Edjensen is joining us live there from Belgium.